All right, coming up next hour, our own legal guys are breaking down some of the most intriguing cases of the week. Avery Friedman and Richard Herman joining me now for a quick look at uh, what's on the docket. Uh, let's begin with the judge who has ordered a new murder trial, gentlemen, for Michael Skakel, the nephew of Robert Nethel Kennedy. Skakel was convicted back in 2002 of killing 15-year-old Martha Moxley with a golf club. The killing took place in 1975 when they were teenagers. Well, the judge says Skakel's defense was inadequate. What do I think about that? Yeah. I think that the judge may be ineffective. I think the judge may have misconstrued the facts and misapplied the law. I think maybe this judge should be examined because this decision is ridiculous, Fred. And we'll talk about it coming up. All right. Look forward to that, gentlemen. A composite sketch of someone witnesses saw in the neighborhood. Skakel believes it would have convinced the jury he didn't do it. If only the jury had seen it. His defense attorney never showed it during the trial. The unused sketch is one of the key reasons Skakel argued his defense lawyer was incompetent and that he deserves a new trial. At a recent hearing to push for his client's freedom, Skakel's new lawyer presented the composite sketch along with a picture of Kenneth Littleton, who worked as a tutor at the Skakel home. He had also been questioned at the time of the murder. Littleton's lawyer has told reporters he's innocent. Anybody Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is Skakel's cousin. Uh, you know, Michael was... 11 miles away with five eyewitnesses at the time that the murder was committed. He has an airtight alibi. With his conviction set aside, Michael Skakel now has a second chance to prove it. Randy Kay, CNN, New York. So let's bring in our legal guys. Avery Friedman, a civil rights attorney and law professor, joining us from Cleveland. Good to see you. And Richard Herman, a Frederica. New York criminal defense attorney and law professor, joining us from Las Vegas. Good to see you as well. Hi, Fred. Okay, so gentlemen, this is really a fascinating case, is it not? I mean, Richard, you mentioned that, uh, you know, you are good friends with uh, Mickey Sherman, the lawyer who represented Michael Skakel in that trial in 2002. And while you hear the judge say that it was an ineffective representation that Mickey Sherman is uh, guilty of here, and that's why uh, they believe that Michael Skakel uh, deserves a new trial, you say, actually, the problem is ineffective judging. So, Richard, explain more. Well, a couple of things, Fred. First of all, whether he can get out on bail pending a new trial, that's the first issue. And because the government right. is going to appeal this judge's decision, he's not getting out. So until that determination is made, I think he's going to remain incarcerated. Now, number two, what the judge found, and the appeal is not based on any review of the facts of the case. That's not what this appeal was, the decision was based upon. It's premised upon a boilerplate claim that's made by every convicted defendant on appeal an ineffective assistance of counsel claim. They make it boilerplate, Fred. It's thrown in to every appeal, and they're very rarely granted. And yeah, here, yeah. it's just interesting to me that a state court judge, after all this time, would find a lack of attention to detail, incoherent defense, and half-hearted investigation by Mickey Sherman, a seasoned... That. A seasoned veteran criminal defense attorney, Fred, who put in over a thousand hours of time into this case, presented an alibi defense. It was confronted, Fred, with his own client's well, connection you know, to the work. Wait, that. wait, it's, he's connected to the murder weapon. That, yeah. I know Mickey Sherman personally. And, you know, we as defense attorneys get hit with these motions all the time on appeal. But I just want to say, Fred, if it was me on trial, I would hire Mickey in a heartbeat to defend me in a case. That's how good well, that, he is. Is, Richard, and I think the judge. On that. I think the judge has it all wrong here, Judge uh, Fred. You're the judge, Fred, and <laughs> I think I, I think that it'll be. Uh, I think in Mickey's this, representation case, yes. will not be tarnished in this particular case. It's over Go a 40-year-old mm. murder case here, Fred. Mm. Look. You have consciousness yeah. of guilt. You've got three point blank admissions. Right. You've got dozens of incriminating statements mm -hmm. by Skakel. Right. And, you know, you've got a consciousness of the guilt. It's a very difficult, difficult case.